Okay, campers, who's ready for macaroni art? <laughs> macaroni art, yeah, macaroni art, yeah, macaroni art, yeah! Well, this takes pasta to a whole new level. Come on, McGee. It's not that bad. It's actually pretty good. I'll take your word for it. Honorable Arts and Crafts Project, prepare for battle. Hi! <laughs> Um, Armand, the flowers are ringing. What flowers? No flowers here. I told you not to call me here. No, 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 I'm not coming back. <laughs> uh, wrong number. I mean, no number, uh, because that wasn't a secret phone. Now, how about a game? Oh, 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 let's play I Spy. No, anything but that. I Spy with my little eye, something that is crunchy and macaroni-like. Uh, macaroni? Yeah. Hey, how'd you get it so fast? Wait, can you read my thoughts? What am I thinking now? Macaroni. Now my turn. I spy with my little eye something that is a ski chalet? <gasps> hmm, is it a ski chalet? Oh, wait, I can read your thoughts. <sighs> ah! Forget you saw that. Uh, which part? Any of it. All of it. Please take a skiing, Armand. Please! Please! Absolutely not. I don't know the first thing about skiing. Uh, what about all these pictures of you skiing? Who wants to macrame? Later. We're going skiing. All right, all right. I'll take you skiing. Yay! But just one run. All clear. Yay! Oh, I'll get the skis. Now, remember, one run and we're out of here. And don't touch anything! Ah, uh, I thought this place was gonna look way cooler. No offense, big fella. Whoa! Now this is a ski chalet. Who'd want to ski when you can hang out in here all day? How come our mom didn't tell us about this place before? Think about it. Secret phone calls, secret swinging ski chalet. It all means <sighs> one thing. Armand is a spy. Yeah, right. Special <gasps> Agent Triple O Squatch. Special skills. Tango. Squatch Foo. Flower arranging. License to thrill. Whoa! Armand's a spy? You see? <clears throat> and I bet there's a bunch more cool spy stuff around here. Uh, guess not. Oh, come on, guys! This place is awesome! <laughs> Triple O's, watch your back, but not for long. Okay, campers, let's take our one single solitary run and. No! Oh! Hey, Armand, come join the party! What have you done? Which part of Don't Touch Anything did you not understand? Voice recognized. Mission accepted. Welcome back, Triple O Squatch. You're a spy? Retired spy. But they're trying to get me back for one last mission. Styling tux, Armand. What? Oh, just part of the uniform. Now let's get out of here. Hurry, campers, hurry! You got it, Triple O Squatch. Please don't call me that. You're, You're a, a spy! spy. <sighs> this is going to be a long mission. Do you have bulletproof undies? Just a few pairs. Oh! Ninja penguins! Hello, little penguins! <laughs> Is that all you got, Armand? Give him a taste of the old Squatch Boo! Yeah! Oh! oh! Kids! Remember to always stretch before a ninja battle. <laughs> oh! Ow! Agent McGee Double E's got your back. <laughs> We should be safe. How wrong you are. Abominable fur. Greetings, Triple O Squatch. We meet again. Yes, we meet again. For the last time. Again. At last. Today. Again. The briefcase. You and these furless fools let me right to it. Yes, it was safe until everyone decided to mess with it. Just one run, Armand. Please, Armand, take us skiing, Armand. 
Leave the campers out of this, Lafer. They don't know anything. Vesky, the briefcase. <laughs> ah! Whoa! Whoa! Who's a cute penguin? <laughs> Abominer, you leave me no choice. <laughs> but to boogie. No. This will be your last dance. <laughs> What's in this thing anyway? Something far too dangerous to let Abominable walk out with it. Luckily, Danger is my pretend middle name. Hey! Eat sweatpants! I got it! Heads up, Armand! Love her? You've got two left feet. Well, I only need one to defeat you. Whoa. <laughs> I'll take that. Oh, amateur. <laughs> Betty, such a good dancer, is such a terrible spy, triple or scratch. Now, you and your pathetic friends will suffer my disco doomsday. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to bring the fun back. Geronimo! Yeah! You call this battle! Being a spy is awesome! Oh no! Being a spy isn't all cool gadgets and classy tuxes, Campo. Pass the law, Triple Now you're talking! If you'll just hop onto my atomic pocket rocket skis. some squat in him. Yay! Abomino wasn't quite so lucky. Huh? Okay, Armand, so I gotta know, what's in the briefcase? Empty? Empty? Exactly. It was just bait to draw Abomino out into the open and end her reign of furry terror. Mission complete. This case will self-destruct in one second. Mm, figures. Congrats to my junior spy team. That's right, we rock. Yeah, we totally do! And we'll never forget our first spy mission. Naturally, you will. Hey, Armand. 
What you looking at? No, nothing, nothing at all. Excuse me, I had chili for lunch. Now, who needs more dried macaroni? <laughs> Agent Triple O Squatch is officially retired for now. cheesy spandex outfit. It's modern scooter chic. Anyway, look what got delivered to Sunny Smiles instead of Loser Bottom. My package! Finders keepers, losers McWeepers. <laughs> Let's see what your mom sent me. Oh, McBaby's catch. Gross. <laughs> mm, McMommy burrito pops. <laughs> Keeping these. <laughs> burrito pops. Beanie good. What do we have here? <gasps> the final issue of the Mega Man Boy Infinite Universe Crisis Countdown? In mint condition! Easy, Butt Squad. We can share the burrito pops. You just hand over the comic, nice and slow. What's the magic word? Psych! <gasps> Let's see what Mega Man Nerd is up to. Mega Man Boy discovers boring. Will Mega Man Boy escape? Lame! Mega Man Boy buys new tights. <laughs> Yawn. Oh, the big finale. No! Don't tell me the ending! La, 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 la. Mega Man Boy learns that Mega Powers come with great responsibility. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> yes! Mega Man Boy is safe! Look, a falling star! Make a wish! I wish for a falling star so I can wish for more burrito pops! That's no star! That's a meteor! What are the chances? Astronomical! It looks like a bowling ball from space! Do not touch that orb, Camper! We don't know what disgusting space germs that rock picked up. We'll get some antibacterial wipes. Remember, don't touch that orb! No problem, Sawyer! No one's gonna touch it! McGee, what are you doing? That meteorite could be all radioactive and stuff. <laughs> it could have space boogers all over it. Relax. It's just a mysterious substance that's hurtled through space. What could go wrong? Oh, I guess this. Uh, well, suddenly feeling a little lightheaded. Space boogers! Hey! Oh. McGee? You okay? <laughs> Hey, don't freak out, guys. All's cool. Seriously, what's up? You're up, McGee. You can fly. That's amazing. Whoa, I'm flying. Mmm, <laughs> something smells good. And you eat garbage? <laughs> so not amazing. You're right. It's not amazing. It's super awesome, amazing. That makes no sense. That orb gave me Mega Flyboy powers. Oh, oh, oh me next! I want to be a Flyboy too. <laughs> Whoa! Am I flying? Here, Squirt, have a snack. <laughs> Same old wimpy human taste buds. Try flying. Already on it. Whoa! Bounce-tastic! Your turn, Gretch. <laughs> no flying? Uh, uh, uh. No bouncing? No fair! Hey, try some garbage. Ew, stop bugging me! Mega stretch powers! Mega, Mega awesome! awesome. 
Why, thank you very much. <laughs> Save the world? Mm -hmm. Later. Right now, I'm thinking mega snack. Hungry. Ow. Hungry. Ow. Hungry. Ow. Hungry. Ow. Yummy, yummy in my fly tummy tummy. My slug muffin slizzard away again? <laughs> Sometimes I don't know why I bother. Oh, these are disgusting! <laughs> Disgustingly delicious! Hey, McGoob, your mom's burrito pops are the best! Next time, get her to add more cheese. <laughs> Last chance, Buttbean! Give back those burrito pops! Bring it on! <laughs> so good! I was hoping you burped that. What? <laughs> <laughs> Get away, Buzz Boy! Getting away will be a bit of a stretch! Uh... Let me bounce something off ya! <laughs> Gotta work on my bouncy jokes. <laughs> ah! Ah! Oh! Hey, how'd you mega losers get mega powers? Wouldn't you like to know? That's a mega secret. Now hand over those burrito pops. <laughs> what? Ah! Oh. Looks like someone lost their lame powers. Bye-bye, burritos. Bye-bye, superpowers. Relax, guys. All we need is a recharge. <laughs> recharge, huh? Soon I'll have your pops and your powers, McFly face. Come on, McGee. Just a little more. What's what's back? Get him! Huh? Gotcha, Bean Splat! A, a decoy! The orb! Drop the orb, butt breath! Too late, McGullible! Behold the power of nitrogen, methane, and beans! Ah! Burrito pops combined with mega orb gas power! Equals the ultimate gaseous supervillain, Dr. Thunderbutt! <laughs> Do you hear something? <laughs> oh. Open your nostrils to the stink of ultimate power! <laughs> oh, yeah. Ah. Oh, yo! Super villain needs help here! I knew that Butt Squad Kid was a stinker, but oh boy! What kind of maniac ignores caution tape? Ah, uh, Butt Squad kind of maybe saw us use the orb to get superpowers? <gasps> Yeah, sorry, but check out our awesome mega powers. You don't stand a chance against Thunderbutt with those piddly powers. Not one-on-one, -on -one. but together we can as an ultra super mega team. Mega inspiration. Presenting the bounceable blurt, the ultra elastic stretchin, the high flying McFly boy. Together. Justice Super Punch! Uh, is anyone else's costume a little tight in the crotch? Try and beat me now. Did I hold all the orbs' powers? What would Man Boy do now? This is your last chance, Thunder Dork. Return that orb! No way, McBuzz Boy. Uh, you asked for it. Mega Justice Super Punch! <laughs> is rude, Burp Breath. Did your mother teach you to cover your mouth? Let's get this back where it belongs! Oh. Like 
like I'd forget to install an orb protecting McBug Zapper. I'm a gassy genius. Ew, so deadly. Ah, it stings, it stings. McFly Boy, <laughs> our powers are fading. It's up to you to destroy the orb. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's what Mega Man Boy would do. Hey, X-ray glasses. <laughs> You're right. Thunderbolt! Curse you, McFly Boy! Oh no. <laughs> now let her rip, Thunderbolt! Yay! We just saved the world, Mega Camper. <laughs> Yes! <gasps> Wishes do come true! Here, Butt Squad, have a Mega Justice Super Punch of deliciousness! With extra cheese! My powers! My beautiful, stinky, gaseous powers! <laughs> oh, I gotta use your own house! <laughs> <laughs> hand reached out and tapped him on the shoulder. Tap, tap, tap. And when he turned around, his favorite house plant was dead! <laughs> ah! Ew! Dead stuff is gross. No offense, Sawyer. None taken. And that's why you should never wake a sleepwalker. Is that really true, Sawyer? Cross my heart. See? <laughs> Oh, look at the time. Like the bunnies, quickly, you must go to bed. But, Rosebud, we want to stay up all night long. Right, guys? Has anyone seen my cheese? Uh... See? Are you crazy in the head? Staying up all night is too dangerous. Listen to my mouth. There once was a kid named Marty who did nothing all day but party. Day, night, afternoon, nap time, party, party, party. No. And when there was no one left to party with, he would party by himself in a mirror. Oh, he sounds great. But you can't. After partying for nine straight days with no sleep, Marty got so tired that he passed out and was zucked into his mirror. Now Marty is trapped in the mirror world forever! No way! It's true! The mirror world is a dark, unformidable place. Like a sock drawer full of moldy cheese. I just remembered where my cheese is! And from that day forward, he was known as Bloody Marty. Why was he called that? It just sounded cool. It does sound cool. Do you guys want to start calling me Bloody McGee? No. no. They say if you chant the name Bloody Marty three times in a mirror, he will return from the mirror world and force you to take his place. So which one of us is going to say Bloody Marty three times in the mirror? Shh. Didn't you hear Rosebud's story? It's just a story grown-ups tell to stop kids from staying up all night. Like, early to be early to rise makes a kid blah 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 Let's just do it. I guess it does sound kind of silly. Let's prove it. On three. One, two, three. Bloody Marty! Bloody Marty! Bloody Marty! Just a story grown-ups tell, huh? <laughs> My name's Bloody Marte, and I like to party! <laughs> Toothpaste, more like roof paste, am I right? <laughs> this guy does know how to party! Now, who do I thank for getting me out of there? It was us, man! I'm McGee, and this is Squirt and Gretchen. What's up? Those names are Squaresville, man. From now on, your nicknames are Party Magoo and Groovy Gretch. And you're a uh, Nick, as in, uh, it's a nickname. Get it? <laughs> Get a load of me! I love this guy! To 
Does the mirror world really smell like old socks and moldy cheese? Sure does, Daddy-O. Now that I'm out, I'm never going back in. Now, let's bop this sock hop up to 11. Crank the Zim Zam around the turnstile and go root it. Stay awake well past our usual bedtime and do fun camp-related activities over the course of the whole night until the sun comes up. Yeah! We're in! <laughs> Look at that frog go, Daddy-O! You cats enjoying your bath? Good, because it's all downhill from here. <laughs> that's soap in my eye! <laughs> all right, cool in the gang. You ever try tipping a cow? Cows sleep standing up. If you sneak up on them, you can tip them over. What are you doing, man? I already tipped him. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, who's ready to really party? Hey! I'm too pooped to party. I'm so sentenced. Can't say properly because tired. OK, you cats go pile some Zs. Magoo and I will keep the party hopping. Sweet dreams, you two. <laughs> There's something I don't trust about Marty. I know what you mean. Squirt? Ah! Get me out of here! Ah! Mickey! Mickey! Let her fly, Magoo! Ah! Ah! Oh, I always knew Armand's giant underpants would come in handy. <laughs> <laughs> Mickey, get away from him. You're in terrible danger. Whoa, 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 whoa! What's your deal, Third Wheels? <laughs> Third wheel. Classic. My deal is this. Ah! Is that what I look like? It's Squirt. Oh, right. Hey, buddy, what are you doing in there? I was going to ask Marty the same thing. Don't look at me, honeybee. I'm just keeping the groove alive till the clock turns five, dig? Well, when we figure out what's going on, you're in big trouble, dig? Ah! Armand, wake up! Ah! 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 He has night terrors. Looks like somebody's got the cabin fever. <laughs> Sawyer, wake up! There's something wrong with you. Where's his head? Oh, he fell asleep reading again. Uh-uh-uh. Don't you know that reading before bed can make you lightheaded? <laughs> Wait, mother of me! <laughs> Sawyer! Don't listen to him. He's always walking around with his head in the clouds. Rosebud! Help! Bloody Marty is trying to... <laughs> Rosebud! Exactly. Rosebud! <laughs> you gotta help! Wait! Remember Sawyer's story? Never wake a sleepwalker. Stay with me, Gretch. All we have to do is talk to her without waking her up. Careful! Rosebud, how do we defeat Bloody Marty? Your feet in butter tarties? No. How do we defeat Bloody Marty? Bloody Marty? Stay awake until the sun is rising. <laughs> <laughs> Send Marty back to the mirror world forever. You fall asleep, though, and you will take his place. <laughs> oh, so all we gotta do is stay awake till morning? That's easy, right, Rex? Rex! Rex! Are you okay? If you call being stuck in another dimension okay? Hey, Rex, if you get tired of screaming and get hungry, I have cheese. Right where you wanted her. Ah, oh, she needed some time to reflect. Get it? <sighs> you look tired, buddy boy. Not even close. Now leave me alone. Ah, you want to play hide and seek. All righty, I'll give you a head start. One, two, three. Forget staying up till sunrise. I can let you guys out myself. Bloody Gretchen, bloody Gretchen, bloody Gretchen. Wait, <sighs> remember what Rosebud said. <sighs> Only switch places with Marty. Our friends trapped in mirror forever. Then it's up to me to stay awake until sunrise. And watch out for the no good bloody... Marty's here! <laughs> well, where's my berries? That boy is slipperier than an eel in olive oil. And it's way past his bedtime. <laughs> the soothing sounds of the violin. Beautiful, no? No! I'm not falling for this! Must stay awake! <laughs> Warm milk! It helps make you calm and relaxed. <laughs> That's the stuff. So cold! Look what I made in art class. It helps make you sleepy. McGee! McGee! Wake up! 
Wake up! Wake up! Did you say sleepy, Marty? <laughs> Helping me count my flock? Oh! 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 Oh no! McGee's starting to nod off. If he falls asleep, we're goners. We gotta keep him awake. McGee, wake up! Cock a doodle doo! What? That's how farmers wake up. Cock a doodle doo! Cock a doodle doo! Looks like I'll have to do this the old-fashioned way. Huh? Oh! Oh, for the love of Pete! All right, no more Mr. Nice Marty! Okay, Marty, you win! I'll snooze! You mean lose! <laughs> There's only one problem. I don't like sleeping with the light on! Oh, no, Daddy-O! Oh! I did it, guys! I made it to sunrise! I knew you could do it, McGee. Mm -hmm. I ate too much sock drawer cheese. <laughs> Six o'clock! Rise and shine, campers! Wakey, wakey! Why does my head feel so big? Why are my underpants so big? I hope you all slept like the baby, because today is my birthday! And we are going to party till we drive! <laughs> oh, well, you make do. your birthday? No, it's not. Um. Dear McGee, this cake is... Oh, delicious and finished. For your sister Susie's birthday. So don't eat it! I yelled that part because they wrote it all caps. Uh-oh, please tell me there's something else in the box. Crumbs. Ah! <gasps> <gasps> uh, nice hat. Trash is so you. Hey, Susie, what brings you to Camp Lake Bottom? Shouldn't you be at your beautiful camp, not here? Well, thanks for stopping by. See you later. Look, baby brother, the only reason I paddled across that disgusting lake to this dump is to get my birthday present! I know you have it, so give it to me! Uh, your present? Uh, no problem. Only, um, it's not ready yet, silly. It's so special and so cool that it'll be ready later. Yeah, definitely ready later. Well, it better be. Uh-huh. And don't let it touch anything around here. Your camp is grosser than Gresham's fashion sets. Oh, McGee! Okay, okay, but what am I gonna do? If she finds out I ate her cake, she'll... Well, let's just say it won't be pretty. Wait! Got it! If I give her a super amazing present, then she'll totally forget about not having a birthday cake. Do girls like these? Wait! What about a book? Yeah. Girls like reading, right? Oh, yeah. Susie would love a book. What about this one? How my brother ruined my birthday. <laughs> or this one. My brother is a thoughtless and sensitive dork. Wait, here's the perfect one. How to destroy your brother's life in 12 easy steps. Why are girls so hard to shop for? What am I gonna do? You could get her a hat. I'm doomed. Well, you can't go wrong with flowers. Flowers! That's perfect! Why didn't I think of that? Because you're a thoughtless and sensitive boy. Can't chat now, Gretch. Gotta go. Uh. Squirt, I need flowers to make up for a giant delicious birthday cake. Well, Eddie here is going to be a beautiful flower. 
Did I ever tell you how much I like cake? Wait, what was that? Rosebud's extra super insanely powerful mega growth plant fertilizer. It makes plants grow 10 times faster. Isn't that right, little friend? Okay, that's cool and all, but when is it gonna be a flower? Oh, in about a week. A week? But I need one today. What if we put more fertilizer on it? Oh, that would be dangerous. It might explode or something. I bet it was chocolate cake, wasn't it? Mmm, chocolate. I'm getting a snack. Well, I could get destroyed by Susie. Or... Yes! Okay. On to plan C. Hide from my sister. You know, how my brother ruined my birthday isn't half bad. I may as well just pack my bags because Susie is gonna kick my butt all the way home. Ah! Oh, oh, sorry, I had the chili. I don't think that was your lunch! You mean you had the chili too? Gretchen, <laughs> Squirt! Watch out for that first step! Whoa! Okay, this is new. Hey, this looks like Eddie. Only way bigger. Okay, McGee, what's up besides us? What makes you think that I... I... I mean, it could have been Eddie. <laughs> Why is it always me? I... A little help here. <laughs> Whoa! So, McGee, how much fertilizer did you use? Well, let's see. A cup of... You know, with a dash, you know, with two pinches, and then carry the four... Uh, all of it. McGee! Am I still asleep and dreaming, or is this more McGee mischief? It's my sister's birthday. Well, wish her a happy birthday from me. And also, why is my cabin a hundred feet in the air? Uh... Still trying to work out the exact details. Okay, okay, I used a whole bag of your super fertilizer on one plant. Then the plant will keep growing until it cannot hold its own weight. Down it will go along with us. Great. We're going to be crushed by Susie's birthday present. The only way to stop the growth is to cut the flower from the top. I will make a lovely salad with it. Ah! Ah! Oh. I'm on to the rescue. Whoa. Oh. Rosebud! Oh, it don't go anywhere! Oh, no overgrown snapdragon can hold this Sasquatch! Perhaps I spoke too soon. Ah! Come on! We have to rescue Rosebud and Armand! Whee! Uh, whose idea was this again? Don't eat us! We're not a basic food group! Oh, forget about the rescue campers. It's too dangerous. You've got to go up to the top. Stop this plant. Hmm, <laughs> <laughs> zombies are nice this in town. Ooh, watermelon terrain sale. Okay, what's the plan, fertilizer boy? What makes you think I have a plan? Because you always have a plan? Does the plan include a snack break? Well, um... No. Okay, here's the plan. We climb to the top. That's it? That's it. What could go wrong? Actually, lots of things could go wrong. First... Don't tell me, Squirt. It'll spoil the surprise. Ouchie! Sorry, Eddie, if this feels a little pokey and ouchie. Ow! Not cool. Phew. Break time! <laughs> Might not be the best time for a break, McGee! Run! <laughs> Quick! Grab onto me! Wait! Safety first! Admit, it's pretty cool that I turned a plant into a plantosaurus. Wonder what I should name it. Your butt! I should name a plant after my butt? No! 
Look out for your butt! <laughs> Let's climb! <laughs> It worked! I did it! I'm safe from Susie! Okay, let's get those garden tools and go rescue our counselors. There's no way a sister can't forgive a brother for eating her birthday cake if she gets a flower like this! McGee, wait! What happens if you... Oh! Oh! Ask me! Ask me! Yes, Squirt? If the flower is cut, the plant doesn't need its roots anymore. Oh, and the roots are what's holding us up. Uh... See? I was right! <laughs> One, two, three. Ah! Why did we run into our cabin? Ah! I hope that's not Susie. Is there room for one more? Take my arm! No! Ah! Human, then Sasquatch chain! It. No more gardening for you. Okay. Hey. All right, McGee. I'm sick of coming over to this dump. I know Mom and Dad sent my present to you. Now give it! Happy birthday, sis. Well, it's way better than getting a, I don't know, birthday cake. <laughs> Everyone gets those. This is special. I guess it is kind of pretty. Uh... Oh, 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 I get it! You ate Susie's birthday cake and that's why you needed the flour. Say what?! It was a horrible cake anyway, Susie. It tasted way too... chocolatey. Uh. <laughs> get it off! Get it off! Ah! When I get this plant off my nose, you're gonna get it good, McGee! Happy birthday! I'm gonna get some watermelons. Everybody loves a good watermelon. Uh, you might want to give it a minute. <laughs> I should start growing watermelons. Hey, campers, I brought the glue and glitter. What do you scavenge for our wild art project? I found this in the kitchen garbage. <sighs> I'll never eat Rosebud's mystery meatloaf again. I found a cool rock. <laughs> Make that a mutant snail. How about a hornet's nest? A hairy hornet! Ah! Code Shaggy Stinger! <laughs> Repeat, Code Shaggy Stinger! <laughs> No sudden movements. Ah! I see my ribcage! Stay still! I've got him! I got this. Last call for Hornet Air. Fasten your stingers and place wings in an upright position. Pollen and other assorted nectar will be served mac and cheese. I'll just throw it already. Is it, is it the queen? I don't see a crown or a scepter. I'll get the microscope. The specimen is ready. Look for a golden stinger. Only the queen hornet has one. Yes, I dub the queen hornet. Hey, bottom droolers. What are you doofuses looking at? None of your beeswax butt slurp. What's the smoothie, McDweeb? Ah! Hit the dirt! Ah! Ah! This happens to be the best smoothie 
ever! <laughs> the Microscope Micro-Sized McGee! Uh, is it supposed to do that? Where'd McWimp go? Ew! Ew! Hornet cooties! Yeah! Get away! I'm too young to be stung! You guys find a way to reverse the shrink thingy. Then we'll get McGee out of that smoothie! No. <laughs> Lost old Buzzy. <laughs> Didn't spill a drop. Must stay afloat! <laughs> but smoothie! So delicious. Mm. Ah! <laughs> no! <laughs> <laughs> Ew! Oh, horrible aftertaste. No! <laughs> Ew! I'll never eat junk food again! Ah, who am I kidding? Mm. <laughs> oh, uh oh, I know where that's going. Not good. Whoa, nice! Going up in style. Yeah, the lungs! Not my floor. Huh? Yeah, ah, uh, 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 the heart! No, thanks! <gasps> Floor. Pot Squatch Brain? Wow! Hello! 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 <laughs> Just what I thought. Empty. Quick, before Needle Nose comes back for Sasquatch Second. Just gotta tighten the ding doodle. What? Everything's better with whipped cream. The Hornet thinks so too! Ah, keep your stinger away from my sweet, sweet squatchy flesh! Whoa! No, I'm on! Don't! Run for your life! Well, it would have been polite to wait for me. Cool! <laughs> Butt Squad's eardrum? Double cool! Hey, Butt Squad! <gasps> Who said that? Get with the buddy beat! And that's not all. What's happening? Stop that foot! McGee! I know you're behind this! Too awesome! My own squat bot! I wonder what this one does. Whoa! What did you eat, butt skunk? Oh, right, you ate me. Uh, excuse me, Mr. Ant, have you seen a smoothie swilling, bad mannered, red headed camper come by? Hmm, shoulda asked a termite. Never mind. Dork at 12 o'clock. Why are you hitting yourself? <gasps> Why are you hitting yourself? <gasps> but Squat, McGee's in your smoothie! No, he's not. He's gone invisible. Huh? McGee? He's so teeny tiny cutesy wootsy. Uh, did anyone ever talk to you guys about personal space? Hmm. Testing, test out! Check it out! I'm in Squat Bot's brain! And it could really use a spray of brain freshener. Ah, he's inside my head! That's private! We gotta get you back to camp and out of Butt Squat! You got it! Mud Squat Bot! Uh, uh, for the record, I am not marching, even though I am. When I get you out of my head, I am so gonna squash you, McMicrobe! The hairy hornet! The really big hairy hornet! <laughs> hey, Squad Bot, quit freaking out! We gotta go back or Grinch and Squirt are gonna be stinger kebabs! <laughs> better than being stinger kebabs than me! You'd think a queen would have better manners! Buzz off, you stink! That's how you handle a hornet. I think it needs more handling. This way, campers! Move it, move it! <laughs> you. We should be safe in here. Not safe, not safe! That'll buy us a little time. All we need now is a plan. Making plans is McGee's department. I just shoot him down. Um, that's a lot harder than it looks. Fine. 
Squirt and I will create a diversion so you guys can get to the microscope, reverse that puppy, and shrink the hornet down to size. Sounds crazy. I like it. Squat, squat! Go back! Ah! <laughs> What's that, McWeenie? I can't hear you. La 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 la. Eat water. I, I mean, drink water. Yeah. <laughs> New plan: escape in terror. <laughs> <laughs> Wait us out, then sting us silly. And that's gonna sting. Let's face it, there's only one camper that can help us now. <gasps> Butt Squat's hummingbird impersonation's not gonna stop me from saving my friends. Indoor voice, indoor voice. Butt Squat, well, here's the deal. Ah! You help me help my pals, and you get your brain back. Forget it, I'll never help you. Then I'll haunt your brain. Oh. Summer. Oh, I love Mickey when he's the boss of me. I'm as happy as can be. Oh, stop it. Okay, okay. Swear you'll give me my body back? Deal. <laughs> Trust me, I've got a plan. I use you as bait for a giant angry hornet queen. Uh, can we take a vote on that plan? Come and get dessert, your highness. No, not the smoothie. <laughs> What are you doing? Actually, I'm an excellent diver. Wait a minute! Oh! No! This wasn't the deal, McGee! Run a butt squat! Yeah! Whoa! Ah! <gasps> Ew! Not the nose! You'll pay for this after you save me, McGee! <laughs> Not so tough now, huh? Ow! Oh, ouchy, ouchy, ouchy. Okay, I asked for that. <laughs> you stung your last sting, Queenie. <laughs> Ow! Okay, butt's not. Time to hit the eject button. Tickle, tickle. Quit it, McGee. Ah! <laughs> Ew! I've been squat snotted. Wait, Gretch! It's McGee! Will someone please get McMucus off my face? <laughs> Let's make that booger bigger! <laughs> oh, I need a long shower. Yay! Fine by me, McBody Snatcher. I never thought I'd say this, but thanks, Squat Man. Yeah, nice job saving us. Apart from blowing nose chunks on me. You're a hero! I am? I mean, of course I am! You bottom dweebers should put up a statue of me in your camp! FYI, I couldn't find a washroom in there. You mean? Might want to hose your brain down before you use it again. Ew. Beetle shell pasta and toasty beak bites. Why do your snacks always have to crawl? Nice snack, loser bottoms. Mm. Feast your eyes on cheesy spaghetti a la squat, cooked by Chef Moi. One order of cheesy spaghetti a la squat. <laughs> that spaghetti isn't the only thing around here that's cheesy. Right, McGee? Uh-oh. <gasps> Thanks, but no thanks. 
thanks, Butt Squat. We can't get enough of these itty bitty toasty beak bites. <laughs> Can't resist real food! Yes! No. <laughs> oh, sorry, Rosebud. I cracked. You think cooking for picky campers is easy? You do it. But beware, Mr. Schmarty Chef. Cooking can be dangerous business. When it's your cooking, eating is dangerous business. I heard that. Relax. Chef McGee is in the kitchen, oh yeah. Dream on, McDream on. You wouldn't know a flipper thingy from a frying pan thingy. I could outcook you any day, butt burn. Oh yeah? Yeah. Oh yeah? Oh boy, here it comes. Yeah. Oh yeah? Yeah! Cook off! Presenting the first ever Camp Sunny Smiles Lake Bottom Chow Down is... Chili! Behold the cauldrons of gastronomical glory. Prepare to be blown away by my Squat Blaster 11 Alarm Chili! What's this thing? My McSpicy Apocalypse Smacking Chili will blast your chili out of the, uh, pot with, uh, mixing and cutting up stuff, I guess. You've never cooked in your life, have you? My tummy is already upset. How hard can it be? I'll just do what Rosebud does, except I'll make it good. I heard that, too. Chefs, here are your ingredient baskets. Now, go get your ingredients. Oh, yeah, food fans. This cook-off just took off. You heard our mind. Let's get shopping. Indigestion, here we come. Whatever, weirdos. Yeah, I need a delivery of uh, stuff that goes in chili. And now, introducing the judge for this culinary crossfire! <laughs> judge Rosebud, what are you looking for in today's cook off? Just a quiet spa day. <laughs> and to see the smirk wiped off McGee's face. <laughs> Can opener, can opener. <laughs> This'll do. Seriously? Chef Butt Squat, what's the winning secret of your chili? A secret? There's no secret. Out of my way. Gotta do chefy stuff. Chef McGee's really showing his culinary chops with these tough tomatoes. Hey, tomatoes! I've seen better looking vines holding up monkeys. <laughs> Hope you don't taste as bad as you aim. Mm. In the line of fire, and it tastes so good. Mm. Ah! 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 Chef Butt Squat is showing unorthodox flair and an inability to find a can opener. What? Uh, uh, no cans here. <laughs> uh! Dented, but intact. Unlike Chef Butt Squat. Back to you. Even an expert chef would think twice about harvesting the lake bottom yak bean. Luckily, thinking has never been an issue for Chef McGee. There's one. <laughs> bad yak, bad yak. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. Yes, chili time. Let's stir things up, people. Uh, stirring is a cooking word, right? Beans. Oh, are those feet clean? No way! Toe Jam adds zest! Reek! We can ask Rosebud if we're doing it right. No, Rosebud! Chef McGee's got this! <laughs> Let McYuck waste time actually cooking. Once this heats up, I am donezo. Your key ingredient appears to be pre-cooked microwavable uh, chili. Anything else, Chef? Plus, um, my own super secret super hot squat sauce that I bought myself. Ah! We might want to call the fire department. So, you like it hot, do you? Uh, where'd that come from? Rosebud's padlock chained up, do not open danger cupboard. See? Cooking is easy. And if a little is good... No! Pretty. Ah, not pretty! <laughs> Disqualification! McCheater's chili is out of bounds! Yeah. What is our ruling, Judge Rosebud? Ow! 
Wow! Chili's still in play. A chef has to teach the food who's the boss. <laughs> now, more rolling! <laughs> oh, oh, yeah! Oh, oh, that's the stuff. Ha! If you can't stand the heat, lean squad, get out of the cook-off! No way! <laughs> Ever heard of mouthwash? Holy heartburn! It's Chili Zuma's revenge! This chili chow down throwdown is really heating up. May the best chef survive! <laughs> yeah, hot, hot, hot! Just a tad overdone? <laughs> Woo! Eat flame retarded foam, bean breath! You know, maybe now's a good time to ask Rosebud for help. You think? <laughs> Rosebud! Yeah! Rosebud, you gotta help us! What's the magic word? Ah! That's not it. <laughs> what are you gonna do now, chili chum? Way to make it angrier! <laughs> McGee, just apologize to Rosebud. Okay, I was wrong. Cooking isn't easy, especially at Lake Bottom where the food fights back. And? And I love your fruit. What? What? No, I, I didn't quite hear you. Ah! I love your food! Oh, you didn't have to say that. Will someone come up with a plan? I got a plan! <laughs> <laughs> Time to chill out this chili ogre! It's working! Take that, you overgrown pile of... Why are you stopping? We're out of water. <laughs> when food goes this bad, it's time to change the recipe. Right on, Chef Rosebud! Run! <laughs> no chili meal is complete without side dishes. Fire coleslaw! We call slaughtered him! Ugh. Fire cheese cannon! This better be Gouda. <laughs> that cheese won't hold for long. I need that sour cream, Rosebud! You think it's easy milking a sour bat cow? They're grumpy. <laughs> that ogre's really hot under the collar. And over the collar. <laughs> <laughs> There's only one way to know what this chili needs. A taste test. You're either braver or dumber than I thought. I knew my grandma's oven mitt would come in handy someday. A cast iron stomach would help too. Here, chef. May you taste sweet victory and not bitter defeat. On guard, you can make us fart chili, but you cannot take a delicious freedom! <laughs> no! Taste this! Not bad. Needs onions. Yes, chef! <laughs> no time for tears! Onions up! So is the sour cream. What a battle, folks. And now, the moment of truth. Who is the winner of the Chow Down Throwdown? Mm -mm, it is spicy. Yeah, it's always creamy. <laughs> this a butt squad aftertaste. No winner. Oh, yes, there is. Winner and still champion, Chef Rosebud! <laughs> It tastes pretty good. Blech. Spicy.
wants oat squeal. <laughs> there you are, Otis. <laughs> Got anything else, Rosebud? Yeah. Pan snakes, Belgian offals, and Canadian bat bacon with hash browns. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> uh, awesome. Smoky bacon hair for the rest of the day. You say that like it's a bad thing. Uh, anything on the menu that doesn't squeal, fly, or fight? <laughs> Thanks, Otis. Only the hash browns. <laughs> but they're not very good because I forgot to coat them in skunk juice. Mm, oh, yeah. mm -hmm. oh, hints of salt and pepper. Starchy goodness. No gag reflex. This is... Actual, actual potato! potato. More, please. please! More taters? We're all out! And I wouldn't suggest digging in the spud patch. Potato! <laughs> Drippers, come to join the hoedown? Aw, oh, that's cute, because you're not invited. What the spud are you doing to our potato patch? Potato patch? <laughs> no, 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 no. This is the perfect place for my pageant prize vault, duh! Plus, I get to test drive my jet-powered backhoe. Stop that hoe! Save our spuds! A vault, huh? Any chance you can lock yourself in there, too? I can't. It's too full already. Heavy is the head that wears the pageant crown. Oh, but you wouldn't know that, would you, Lil Miss Runner Up? Oh, you're a. Drama, get me my Miss Junior World fish fillet crown. Who dares disturb the subterranean potato underground dwellers? Him, him, no, 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 no. That'd be Bud's not in his squatty back of totally his stinky butt Mayor near potato. Silence! Ooh, shiny. Mine. Get your filthy potato skin away from my Junior Miss fish fillet crown. <laughs> Pageant princess, that's my crown! Princess? More like my prisoner. <laughs> oh, let me go, you dirty tuber! Okay! Come on, guys, we gotta get... Uh, is there any way I can convince you of the upside of this situation? Susie's only been gone for ten seconds, and already the future seems brighter. Cowards! I'll totally help by being the lookout from a safe location, like Sunny Smiles. Oh, boy. Who knows what terrible things the spuds could be doing to Susie? You mean like hammering her with potato stands? Zapping her with a potato battery? Growing new Susies from bits of her body? I mean, I'm sure she's fine. Somebody better let me out of here, or I swear I'll eat all of you for breakfast! Like I said, bye. Oof, great. Gotta go. Bye. S -s -s Something's tickling my neck. <laughs> Please tell me it's Squirt that's tickling my neck. Not me. I'm more of a belly rubber. Ah! There must be a thousand of them. One potato, two potato. Nope. Just two potato. That's still two potatoes too many. Ah! Oh. Oh. It's the bottom diggers' fault. They're the ones invading your creepy, dirty underground kingdom. I mean, don't get me wrong. I love what you've done with the place. It's unpretentious, it's rustic. Ah! Okay. <laughs> you know, I think we just got off on the wrong foot. Or whatever you potatoes have. We're here to negotiate for my sister's return. Perhaps I don't want to return her. If you get dirt on my Junior World Fish Filet crown, I'll peel you like a banana. Hmm, for her return, what do you got? Let's show Kingy what he can win! <laughs> a buttery hot tub! <laughs> a lifetime supply of bacon bits! <laughs> a 
gravy boat. No, a gravy yacht? I'm a king. Give me something I don't already have. Well, um, okay. Oh, oh, <laughs> chips. Everybody loves chips. What? You dare present me with my deep-fried brethren and rub salt and vinegar in their wounds? Seize the overgrounders! Grab Susie! I'll deal with these thin-skinned spuds! Oh, who wants salty, crunchy relatives? Later, taters! Take me with you! Oh, 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 these things are chafing my flawless skin! Potato King, my beautiful crown! Hey, careful! <laughs> you really should floss more. Yo, Spud! Huh? <clears throat> Give me a little help here! Overlanders. Ooh, shiny. End of the line. My glorious golden home. All aboard the Tater Express. I'm tattling my way to freedom. Crud. Thanks to me, there's no more tater trouble. No more crowns. I wouldn't be so sure of that. You're so going down. Actually, I was planning on going up. <laughs> Please tell me your campers didn't mess with the spuds. Uh, maybe. <laughs> My crown and I want it back. Mm. And I want back bacon. What? All this running away and terrified horror just makes me hungry. <laughs> Squirt! You're a genius! If you can't feed him, eat him! Time for a potato massacre. <laughs> <laughs> we have broken through your protective skin. I love the smell of fried potatoes in the morning. <laughs> Take no prisoners, Spuds! Take no prisoners! <laughs> 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 Overgrounders, what you're made of! Yeah, that's not what I meant. Looks like they've got this one. Let's go! Not without my crown! Never sneak up on us, bud. We've got eyes on the backsides and top of our heads. You put my sister down! <laughs> oh, I will down my throat. <laughs> Although that was kind of cool. Hmm, <laughs> a little bitter with hints of salt, hairspray, and... <gasps> Heat? Whoa, <laughs> that's not agreeing with the old tater tummy. Uh, oh, hot, hot, too hot! <clears throat> Let's get one thing clear. No one wears this crown but me! That's better. Okay, Butt Squat, Vault, move now! Uh, uh, no, 
nothing makes Susie's blood boil faster than messing with her pageant prizes. You haven't heard the last of us, Mickey! The smarts will rise again! Time for a victory feast! Oh, I will make mad. Oh, well, uh, Rosebud, I think I speak for all of us when I say anything but potatoes. Some more dancing fairies are exploding. Don't push the groove. Feel it. Oh, oh, I'm feeling it. The question is, bam, are you? Oops, gotta find my shoe. And uh, ring, ring, ring. Oh, why, yes, I would love to hear about your special promotion. Every detail. You're trying too hard. Just let the music flow through you. Yeah, you're right. This music doesn't flow with my sophisticated boogie. Let's see here. That's, uh... Ooh, oh, wicked cover! Now that there is a groove worthy of... Oh, oh. Hey! What are you doing? This isn't a record. It's the ancient Papayan Doomsday Calendar. Dance off is canceled. Everything is canceled. What? How come? On account of the end of the world. Nice one. McGee danced the forbidden Eclipse Ellipso. Hang on. What's an Eclipse Ellipso? The Eclipse Ellipso summons the dreaded Moon Dervish. The Dervish uses the power of the Eclipse to rot the entire world. Uh, question? Why do we store Doomsday devices in the record box? Hush. <gasps> the Moon Dervish can only be appeased by a Sunsquatch, who must dance spectacularly before the Eclipse ends. Otherwise, the world is doomed. <laughs> it was good knowing you, campers. <laughs> Lucky we've got our very own Sunsquatch. Oh, finally, my debut. <laughs> me, me, my, mo, moo. And sometimes, <coughs> <coughs> a little parched. One whistle wetter coming up. A tea, please. Medium boiled, stirred counterclockwise. Helps my dancing flow. Make it quick, Whistleretto. The moon's horizon. Come on, kettle, boil already. Oh, finally. Uh, eeny, meeny, miny. I don't know. Mo? Hmm. One throat soothing cup of tea, courtesy of your pal, Mickey. Just what the sun. <laughs> Snooze root tea. Guaranteed to knock out your stress, Bigfoot, for days. You just conked out the world's only hope for salvation. Well, there, there's got to be an antidote, right? Right? <gasps> ah, too late. <laughs> That's the moon, Dervish? He doesn't look so scary. Hi, welcome. I hope you like flowers. See, guys, what did I tell you? He's actually a... <laughs> a horrible, horrible monster! <laughs> Squirt, Sawyer, you gotta wake up our sun squad so he can get dancing. <laughs> Holler when he's awake! We gotta stall Mooney before he destroys everything! But how? Maybe he's hungry? Oh! I'm a delicious, distracting hot dog! <laughs> <laughs> ah! Wow, 
Welcome to the End of the World Diner. I'm your waiter, McGee. Huh? What do you have? Uh, dervish hungry for... Destroy! <laughs> okay, so that's uh, one smash and run with a side of... Destroy! Yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Wakey, wakey, Armand! Oi, Squatches. We've been scuttled. Got any bright ideas? Just one. Clear! All right, all right. Ah! Ow. That'll cure what eels ya. <laughs> all we got left is rotten onions, frozen slugs, <laughs> and Sawyer's legs. Not much meat on those. <laughs> <laughs> Dervish done dinner! Destroy! McGee, come on! Just as soon as I save Sawyer's legs, we gotta fly. <laughs> Reminds me of my days in the flying pahogies. <laughs> 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 awesome! You can't run what's already rotten! Zombie legs away! You're too tense, Mooney. How about a soothing mud spa? Kill lights! <laughs> Guys, any movement on the Sunsquatch front? Still snoozing! Snooze root tea would put down an elephant. Or a moon dervish. Oh, hello. I made this cup extra strong. Just what the sun. <laughs> oh. Dervish, destroy! Kind of a one-trick pony, aren't you? It's Sunspot's time! Thank you! Thank you! Good to be here at the end of the world. Is that you, Moon Dervish? Come on over, you crazy guy! Oh! Dervish likes shows! Audience members can't go backstage, sir. You got a front row seat, cause Dervish, baby, this show's for you! <laughs> whoa, whoa! Sunsquatch lives for the thrill. McGee, the show must go on. Not on and on and on. Get to the dance. All right, we'll dance. Right after the big finish. Yeah. Uh -oh. <laughs> 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 um, meant to do that. Show over. Destroy Sunsquatch. Destroy everything. <laughs> Armand, you're missing the end of the world! Generally, chickens don't get along with mimes. <laughs> Everyone get to high ground! Get the music going! I gotta get our Sunsquatch dancing! <laughs> Come on, Boogie Buddy! The eclipse will last forever! The world will be destroyed! <laughs> I got this! Oh, yeah, getting funky! Yeah. It's totally working, isn't it? <laughs> Sunsquatch, bad dancer! He's right. I can't dance. We're doomed! Let's get to the higher ground. Uh, let's check the B-side. Ah, that's better. Try again, McGee. That's it. Let the music flow through you. Yeah! You're right, Gretch. Look at me hustle my bustle. Work it, McGee! Work it faster!
Hey, gang! Big finish! Yeah! <laughs> Mickey Trick Dervish! Destroy! I've never felt so refreshed. What did I miss? Oh, just saving the world. Same old, same old. So the Sun Squatch came through as expected. Let us celebrate with dance. <laughs> Congratulations on your purchase of a Digmaster 4000. Caution. Forget the instructions. I've dug thousands of fire pits. <laughs> I meant to do that. <laughs> this is going to be the best beast feast in Lake Bottom history. Ow! Ow! When the warmest. I can't wait to celebrate Beast Feast. Beast Feast is awesome. I love Beast Feast. What's Beast Feast? You don't know what Beast Feast is? I, uh, tell him, Gretch. Mm, you got me, Armand. Uh, <laughs> the origin of Beast Feast. Uh, well, the legend is long and clouded in the mists of time. Right. You don't know either. Who cares? More firewood! <laughs> you call this stacking wood? A talking log! <laughs> can we keep him? Can we keep him, please? Can, can I knit him a hat? Can I knit him a rocket? Hi, I'm McGee. This is Gretchen. That's Squirt Sawyer and I'm on. Oh, Greetings! <laughs> I knit you socks for hey. your old man feet! I ain't deaf, you squeaker. Sorry you were almost kindling. Back when I was a bottom dweller, we got used for firewood pretty much every day, and no one complained. You were a bottom dweller? That's right. Who's the name? I got Lake Bottom deep in my bones, along with the rheumatiz. These bones could use a hand out of this fire pit. Looks like you young'uns are prepping for Beast Feast. Oh, those were the good old days. You were at an actual Beast Feast before? Awesome! Yep, back in the day it was B-Y-O-B-B. -B. Bring your own beast buddy. This year's me and Lou. Except my old buddy Lou's been missing for years. Hmm, we'll help you find him, right guys? Sure we can. Squirt here is a regular bloodhound. <laughs> Help from two kids and an awkward dog boy? That'll be the day. But the, hey, let go! Go, dang, fines! <sighs> Guess today is the day. Hey! Thanks for the help, little lady. Anytime. What do you say we help you find Lou now? Oh, this here collar used to belong to Lou. You think your awkward dog boy can trap this? You betcha. Find the scent. <laughs> oh, oh, oh! Good boy. Oh. <laughs> We're coming for you, Lou. <laughs> well, brush my dentures. You found our old sleeping quarters. Uh, it's not much of a cabin, is it? In my day, we didn't need no fancy cabins, and no one complained. Wait, we all complained. But no one complained about the complaining. It smells like burnt toast. All I'm getting is pure lake bottom history. Oh, wait, and some dirty undies. Uh, the undies is me. History? What's with the burn marks? Those must have been on account of Lou. That's a sure sign he's been here. He always was the rowdy one. <laughs> oh, it sounds like you guys had a blast. Oh, you got something, boy? <laughs> Come on, campers. Hey, two for two. Good boy. <laughs> you found our old watering hole. It ain't changed a bit. Oh, pretty. Oh, awesome. As long as you don't breathe, stinky goodness. <laughs> <laughs> Lou used to 
to do the same thing. <laughs> Look here. Those are fresh burn marks. Lou must have been here, too. This was our leaping hot lizard rock. Your leaping hot what? Our leaping hot lizard rock. See? Of course, I forgot how to swim. All men overboard! God, darn it! I didn't ask for no help. I asked for. Uh, was it oatmeal? <laughs> I suppose if I did ask for help, I should probably say thanks. Ah, forget about it. We're all bottom dwellers, right? Why don't we get you back to the fire to warm up? Warm up? We're already hot on Lou's trail. Come on, Sniffer. <laughs> That's the spirit. No stop until we find Lou. Are you sure this is the right way? Your hound sure knows his nose. If I'm not mistaken, just up this here hill is where I first found Lou. Ah, just sit back yeah, and enjoy the ride. Hey, does anybody want to sing a camp song? That ain't a bad idea. Bottom dwellers, take the cake. Do da, do da. Don't poke your toe in the toxic plate. Oh, do da, da. Built-in airbag saved me from that fall. Anytime. <gasps> and you found the spot where we used to play for hours. Let me guess, Lou burnt it. <laughs> Come on, Bo, try for old time's sake. Well, I suppose so. <laughs> <laughs> Kids, <laughs> I haven't had this much fun since the old days with Lou. I'm oh, sorry we couldn't find your best beast buddy for you. Oh, I appreciate it, but I found some new best friends at least. <laughs> That's the lake bottom spear. <laughs> oh. What was that? I forgot I had this. Lou's favorite toy. Come on, Bo. You're officially our guest at Beast Feast. Yeah! Good news, guys. Poe's joining us for Beast Feast. Perfect timing. Ten seconds to midnight and we just finished the fire pit. Anybody got a match? Thanks for having me, kids. But I sure do wish Lou was here. Aw, oh, don't be down, Poe. Lou's here in spirit. Here's to friends old and new. And the best Beast Feast ever. <laughs> Shut my gob. Lou sure got big. That's Lou. Easy, boy. Easy. Uh-oh. I feel so exposed. No, 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 not mine! <laughs> Squirt, what are you doing? Sorry, I kind of got caught in the wound! Right! Go right! I think we lost him. <laughs> Exceedingly good at this. Run, Squirt, that's the squeaky. You've got to be kidding me. Turn out 
very badly. <laughs> You're right, McGee! This is turning out very badly indeed! Hang on, Campbell! <laughs> Sorry, campers. We tried. That's okay. Mom always said it would end like this. <laughs> Lou, you silly beast. <laughs> Playing a little rough with our friends, ain't you? <laughs> Don't you remember me, Lou? It's me, Poe. Oh. <laughs> oh, I miss you too, old best buddy, old pal. <laughs> you kids okay? Oh, Lou can get a little rowdy. Uh, we love rowdy. <laughs> Thanks for saving us. <laughs> That's what friends are for. Now, what do you say we kick this here beast feast bonfire into overdrive? The problem is, we still need a match. <laughs> well, you got Lou. You don't need any matches. Right, Lou? <laughs> Bite. I'm already planning for next year's Bring Your Own Best Beast Feast. I'm going to bring a frogalope. Oh, I'm going to bring a catapus. Oh, and I'm going to wrangle me an alopotamus. <laughs> I hope you and Lou can join us next year. You got it. Thanks for having us. Later, friends. Now, let's get you home, Lou. <laughs> to the best Beast Feast ever! Oh, bye, bye, bye. Bye. See you next year! Next year. Got your squeaky! Squirt! No! no! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the Lake Bottom Looney Links. Whoa, cool course. Yeah, bring it on. What's this? Why, that squirt is the legendary Excalibur. It was forged in the fires of the ultimate gulf hazard, Mount Victorblow. <laughs> Those who use Excalibur are unbeatable, but only the pure of heart can pull it from the stone. So obviously it's never happened here. What, did, what can I say? I once built a hospital for kittens. <laughs> I don't need a magic club, especially against Butt Squat, who's late again. About time, Butt Squinch. Sorry, McGonna Lose. I was polishing my sweet new golf clubs. Smell that diamond-filled titanium. I'd rather smell my victory. <clears throat> Stance, perfect. Hair, immaculate. Breath, fresh. Just hit it! <laughs> <laughs> I meant to do that. I was just lulling you into a false sense of security before... Bam! Pure golf perfection. You want golf perfection? Caddy, give me a lefty. <laughs> Get tickled! What? Where did... Oh. Oh. <laughs> okay. Back on the line, boys! No, no you get way. out of the way. Hey, 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 Whatever. <laughs> oh, a triple hole-in-one! Mine went in first! Yeah, it only went in because mine knocked it in. <laughs> Sounds like a cat swallowed an accordion. Uh, that cat needs a vet and accordion lessons. <gasps> Haggis McJockstrap, Golf Monster Esquire, at your service. Please step aside, wait your turn, bag face McFlipflop. This is our tea time. Not anymore! Your bunny triple hole in one means you get to play in the greatest tournament of all the Highlander Golf Adoo! Challenge accepted! Excellent. If you lose, you spend eternity in the Golf of Doom tree. Ooh, I love trees. Did you carve all of those faces? 
Those aren't carvings. They're the trap souls of the golfers I've beaten. No pressure. So what do we get if we win? Win? No one ever wins. Who will be keeper of the rules? Oh, oh, me, me, me. So be it, Caddy. And now, golf for doom. 18 holes of perfectly manicured terror. Well, it's just like our mini putt, only... <laughs> only we could get barbecued. Yeah, I know. Awesome! Ah, oh, the great green game. No phones on the green. My faithful caddy, Angus, thinks they're biscuits. Hello there. Who's a good bagpipe? Who's a good bagpipe? Angus, nine iron! Oh, yeah, that's embarrassing. That's tough luck, Haggy. Can I call you Haggy? We'll see about that, laddie. And no, it's Haggis. Oh, come on. Magic? Cheat much? Uh, no rule against magic in here. And there's no rule against awesomeness either. Time for some McGee magic. Here you go, McMagic. Oh, <laughs> club right. <laughs> oh, ha! Whoops. Oh, sorry. Nice dragon. Caddy! We'll make it up the next hole! Ah, hole seven, Pirate's Pain. A personal favorite. Ha! Beat that shot, Duffers. Oh, just watch me. <laughs> please, please, please go in. Ah, ah, oh. yeah! <laughs> Stick that in your bagpipe and toot it, Haggy. Oh, yeah, I'm the best. Nothing but cup. What up? What up? Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time to fight fire with fire using a little strategy I like to call cheat to win. What? No way! Gretchen and I aren't listening. No, uh, no, 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 let's no, no, see. No, no, no. Uh, cheat on a cheater or become a carnivorous tree's dinner. Oh, I'm in. I was already trying to cheat anyway. Oh, I'm sorry, Squirt. Let's do this. Seriously? Here, try this. Double bank. <laughs> Off a fuzzy butt, ball in the center pocket. Ah, Keeper toss! <laughs> and that is how you crush an opponent's dreams, Haggis style. Oh, come on! There's no way a flaming Keeper toss isn't cheating! According to Rule 46, they're actually encouraged. It all comes down to the 18th hole. The impossibly savage. Par four windmill. <laughs> that doesn't sound so bad. Of terror. <laughs> Move it, ya wee dotty fools. Hello, why isn't he using his magic? Ah! Got so caught up in the game, I forgot me sweet magic. Thank you. <laughs> That's how it's done. Your shot. And then, the tree! Ah, uh, Squirt, uh, maybe now's the time to fudge the score. It's kind of life for splinters 24-7! No, we won't do it fair and square. Besides, Haggis just added 13 swings to his score. Sink this in three strokes or less, and we win. In that case, relax, guys. I've got this. Don't blow it, McGoofball. I clung. Oh. What? I was being supportive. Stay focused, McGee. Just sink it in two. Steady and... Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry. I got sand trap in my throat. That's it, butt's not! I'm sick of you putting in, ruining everything with your squatty cars and your titanium toothpick! I probably should have saved one club for my last swing, huh? You think? 
What about Sawyer's leg? Went home. <laughs> and that means it's three time! No, 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 no! Please save me for last! I'm sweet like dessert! <gasps> Excalibur! Come on, give you rusty old bugger! Sweaters for naked mole rats. But you cheat at mini pot. <gasps> I cheat at mini pot. Ah! Ah, thanks a lot. Now I'm a tree zit. Ah. <laughs> Leave Angus alone. It's not his fault. When you gotta go, you gotta go. <laughs> You lost unfair and unsquare. Excalibur, <laughs> Squirt, you're our only chance. Me? But, uh, I'm up here, heart. I once threw out a recyclable can by accident. I. <gasps> <laughs> yes! Substitution! Our caddy will take the shot. Not fair! <laughs> Actually, it's right here in the rule book. Pure of heart caddies may substitute for players. Ow! Okay, Squirt. Elbows in. Arch your back, yeah? Behind, bend your knees, wiggle your butt, close your eyes. <laughs> Spin! <laughs> By the power of the scallop hunter, I win! You won! Take that, Haggy! Oh, oh! I'm too bonny to be tree meat! And don't call me Haggy! Oh. <laughs> Thanks, Squirt! Who knew you were the best golfer of us all? Yeah! The best and most honest and most... Hello! Actual best golfer standing right here. Uh Technically, I saved all your bottom buttons. <laughs> ah, call that tweed windbag off me! Rabies, I tell ya! Rabies! Is this fort part of Old Camp Lake Bottom or Old Camp Sunny Smiles? Both. The two camps used to be one big camp. Sunny Bottom. I worked here. Wow, wow. really? Really? Hello? Hello? <gasps> Madame, do not panic. Help is on the way. <sighs> but perhaps not for some time. Just how old are you, Sawyer? A zombie never tells. Besides, I still got a good brain inside. <laughs> My noggin. Guys, a little help here. <laughs> Zombie earwax. Slipperier than a slick oyster slider. Whoa. No wonder his brain keeps slipping out. <laughs> <laughs> Check out the cool lid! Careful, camper. Legend has it a spirit haunts this hat. His spirit. General Butt! General Butt and I were counselors. Ahem! I wanted a camp where campers could have fun. <laughs> but Butt wanted the whole place to be one big no-fun zone. We decided to settle it over a friendly game of Capture the Flag. Church! But he turned it into an all-out war. Finally, I captured the flag. But Butt wasn't a good loser. Ah! 
<laughs> After that, Sunny Bottom was split in two. My Camp Lake Bottom and General Cheetah Pants' Camp Sunny Smile. Liar, liar, zombie pants on fire! <gasps> General Butt won fair and square! So this is my fort, my flag, and that's my great, great, great granddaddy! And one more great because he's so great! Old Cannonball Bum here fled the battle, and Lake Bottom has been Loserville ever since. That's not true. Old Cannonball Bum fled the battle, and Lake Bottom has been Loserville ever since. Well, maybe it is, except for the Cannonball Bum part. Listen up, bottom dwellers are not losers. How about a rematch to prove it, huh, Buttloaf? And when we win, you fly the Lake Bottom flag at Sunny Smiles. Fine by me, McGonna Lose. And when you lose, you admit bottom losers are the loseriest losers that ever lose. Deal! Like we're ever gonna lose. No, campers, not capture the flag. It does terrible things to people. Relax, Sawyer. It's just a game. Am I the only one using my head? This baby needs a seatbelt. This game is dangerous. The flag flies in my fort, where it belongs. And when we capture it and hang it on Sawyer's statue, we win. Street rules, no holds barred. But no pinching. Got it. No butt cheating, no modern tech, no moving the flag. Oh, and no wet willies. Bye. Prepare your loser engines for full throttle loseringness. All right, you heard him. Today we restore the honor of our camp forefathers. Now who's with me? Charge! I don't have any other plans. <laughs> Everybody's yelling! Ah! <laughs> You take point! Squirt! You keep watch. Questions? Oh, oh! What do you get when you cross a vampire and a snowman? Frostbite. Anyone else? Hey! How about a nature hike? Far away from any place with flags or cannons. Ah, later, Sawyer. Kind of busy here. Squirt, diversion time. I've been waiting all my life to hear that. to butt cheat. <laughs> no, it can't be. N -n 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 not you. You bet your nab is up and knees, it's me. General Butt's back to end your lily liver camp for good. Wow, I didn't think to add a no evil ghost rule. Retreat! <laughs> Go! I'm here! Square! No! Go on without me! 
change my underwear. You, you want to see? That just proves you ate too many horse flying bean burritos. There's no way Gretchen can out-freak me. Boo! <laughs> <laughs> you lost. Uh, lost? Who says I lost? Easy, guys. According to Ghoulie's Graveyard Guide to Ghastly Ghosts, negative energy makes spirits testy. Let's all think happy thoughts. I'll start. Ooh, jelly beans. I'm thinking of, uh, raising you guys back to camp and me winning. Aw, McGee. Sorry there, Preston. Ah! 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 Hey there. Are you Preston? Yeah. <laughs> ah! Shoot! Yes. It's okay, he's gone. Not so into cats, huh? <gasps> Don't feel bad. I'm afraid of chipmunks. <laughs> True story. But listen, I won't tell if you won't tell. Come on, Gretchen! Easily beating you is no fun unless you try. 
Sorry, Preston. I've got to go hand McGee his butt. Thank you, Gretchen. Don't sweat it. That's what friends are for. Let <laughs> the Gretchen eater pull my head! <laughs> Record time. Booyah! <laughs> Woohoo! Still number three! Oh. Anyone, anyone else feel that cold breeze? Yeah, it's McGee's ego deflating. <laughs> oh. oh, hello. Shh. <laughs> Is your ego ready to back that up with an arm wrestle? Really, dude? You know how this goes. What's the matter, Gretch? Afraid these pythons are gonna bite? <laughs> You're on. And go! <laughs> Ha! One, two, three, four! I declare a thumb war! And ow! Mm -hmm. Okay, skip off! Check it out, Gretch! Ha! You must be quaking in your skipping boots! Oh, man, what's it gonna take? Ow! <laughs> Oh, I see how this is gonna go. If you can't beat him, prank him. <laughs> Come on, McGee. I didn't prank you. Well, who did then? Squirt? Not me. I'm I'm in the floor. Think what you want, McGee. I'm gonna get some shut eye. On the upside, buddy. You are on a perfect losing streak. Yeah, fine. But tomorrow will be <gasps> prank payback. <sighs> <laughs> <laughs> Oh, what the? Good news, campers. Soon we'll have two shower temperatures. Cold and icy. Oh, just what I've always never asked for. <laughs> oh, someone got up on the wrong side of the tree. And just wait till I get <laughs> Oh, prank war is on. Nice one. Extreme sculpting is not for the timid. Don't be afraid to dive in. Sounds good to me. One dive bomb coming up. <laughs> <gasps> Sorry, got the wrong Gretchen. <laughs> <gasps> I admire your creative birth. Ah! <laughs> hmm. Not what I planned. P -p Poltergeist. Relax, Armand. Everyone, allow me to introduce my new ghost pal, Preston. Pleased to meet you, Preston. I knew you couldn't beat me without help. <laughs> I can so beat you, but you wouldn't quit. So I let Preston teach you a lesson. Mm -hmm. I don't need lessons. You're the one that needs to learn some skills. Me? No way. My skills are way better. They are not. Our two, McGee. Are not. Our so. Uh, our uh, so. Yeah. Uh, uh, guys. Um, remember bad vibes and ghosts, not Gork. Look at him. He can too. He's a powder keg of ectoplasmic rage. Never. Yeah. Cookies. Uh, cannot. Can too. Cannot. Who clearly enjoys cookies. I, you know, I, I was full anyway, really. Uh, and whatever keeps him happy in a non-green ectoplasmic rage kind of way. Relax. <laughs> we can have some friendly competition with no more secret ghost help. Right, Preston? Mm -hmm. Then let's settle this. Preston and I challenge you and Squirt to... Bully Batman Ball! Oh, okay, wait. Put the emotionally unstable ghost into a highly competitive situation? I'm in. Oh, get used to that zero, McGee. It's the only score you'll get. As if. Oh. Hey! Are you on the wow. Gretchen, remind your partner no invisibility. Preston, no ghost tricks. We can beat him fair and square. Okay, Gretchen. <laughs> nice, Squirt. Got it. Oops. Slimy, that's one for Team McGee and still zero for Team Gretch. Nice try. Oh, Team Gretch and Preston failed to communicate. Two zip. <laughs> yeah, baby, nothing but net. <laughs> Got it. <laughs> yeah. Um, we are. Uh, uh, not me. <laughs> Negative energy. Not good. You're not the best, McGee. You're just lucky. I'm just choking. Ow, 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 ow. I'm 
times like this, I wish I had more cookies. <laughs> Happy dog people! <laughs> Preston's afraid of cats? Gretchen told secrets. Seriously, a ghost afraid of cats? <laughs> uh -oh. I knew Preston had such a fiery personality. Oh, I, I did. Ha, huh, guys, I'm about to go from medium rare to well done. A little rinse will do ya. And now for the spin cycle. <laughs> Thanks, I think. Now let's all just calm down. Preston! Cool it! Let you lie, but keep me bad friends! <laughs> That's definitely the opposite of calling it! Fire! There's the fire! <laughs> I knew I was a hottie, but... <laughs> Yikes! Extreme wardrobe malfunction. Excuse me. Volunteer Chief Sawyer on the job. No need to panic. That little panic wouldn't be at the place. Bucket Brigade. Keep them coming, kitties. We gotta cool off Preston or uh, we'll all be burnt toast. How about a cold shower? I'm on it. Cover me! Right behind you, camper. Ready, buckets, and fire! Cross that one off your bucket list. Also, run! Ah, uh, Gretch! A little parch down here. We're working on it. Let's hook this baby up. Uh, got it! Sorry, camper. Going down! Well, at least I wasn't burned again. Oh, thanks! And now for our resident hothead! Ah! 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 Whoa! Help! We can't get through the flames, they're too high! Preston, I'm sorry you're mad, but Gretchen really needs your help! Gretchen? Yeah, Gretchen, our friend! Ah! Thanks, friend. Uh oh. We made it! it! Brilliant! <laughs> <laughs> but where's the impossibly cute Highland Kitty? Swim, Kitty! You can do it. <laughs> Way to go, Preston. You're a much better friend to us than we were to you. One, two, three, four. Preston declares the war. <laughs> <laughs> Ow! My thumb. Hugs and kittens. It's wakeboarding over old Toothy. You want to try for a less chompy dare? Uh, 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 you know the rules, Gretch. You gotta wear the dare the Scare Bear shares. It's okay. McGee's the luckiest kid we know. <laughs> he smells like a gym sock full of lucky pennies. What you call luck, I call mad skills, yo. Now let's do this. Remind me again why you insist on becoming a fish stick? Relax, Gretch. Everything's ducky. I got mad skills, remember? Ah, what was that? Um, uh, it was just the signal to get quacking. <laughs> okay, Slimy. Jump! 
I told you guys, mad skills. Oh, <coughs> sorry. Duck in my throat. <laughs> you mean frog, right? Uh, oh, yeah, one of those two. <laughs> a duck and a frog? That's practically a whole zoo. <gasps> Wait, don't throw them up yet. I'll go get my aquarium. I better go explain it to him. Nice moves, Commissioner. Couldn't have done it without you, mad skills. Who's my wacky duck? So, that's his secret to outbutting the butster. I gotta get that duck and a stronger bridge! <laughs> Boxcar. Why? Huh? Oh, oh, what? Uh, yeah. without it, right? And we're off to a great start. You okay, McGee? I'm fine. <laughs> Morning, bottom losers. Just thought I'd let you know how I'm gonna take your scare dare title, McFluke. <laughs> Sorry, McGee. You can't handle Scare Bear Dare butt squat. We'll see about that. Unless McGee wants to duck my challenge. <gasps> I'd recognize that quack anywhere. That's right. I have your lucky duck now. <laughs> Sorry, McGee. McGee doesn't need a good luck charm. Yeah, I mean, what kind of bone brain thinks a rubber duck can bring him luck? This bone brain? Give me my duck! <laughs> Too slow! See you at the Dare Bear, if you're not too scared. Ha <laughs> that was gold. <laughs> I quacked myself up. Relax, McGee. You always beat him. Yeah, you don't need a lucky charm. You know what? You're right, guys. Also, Butt Squad, it's not about luck. <laughs> Just as soon as I crawl out of this hole. <laughs> Teeter, not a 
to rock and roll. <laughs> Looks like your luck's finally run. <laughs> I'm dangerous to be around. Catch you guys after I get a shower. Woohoo! Your luck's starting to change. Or not. Luck or no luck, we gotta help McGee. Time to take back that duck! <laughs> Goodbye, Lake Bottom. As long as I'm a walking disaster magnet, I can't risk hurting my... <laughs> Ow! Ow! Maybe if I stand really still, everything will be okay. <laughs> come out, come out, wherever you are, McGlum, and find out what dare you're losing next. <laughs> no biting. Drop the duck, butt squat. Yeah. Release the quack in. No way. Mad skills is mine now. Duck napping is a serious offense. I only care about the dare. Tightrope across Gory Gorge. Oh. Easy peasy, no McEasy. Who's the fair haired dare scare coming commissioner? However you say it now. Spoiler alert. It's me. <laughs> Tell McGee I'll see him at the gorge, if he dares. <laughs> you guys again. What is McGee too chicken to get his duck back? Forget McGee. You've given that duck its last squeeze. <laughs> then come and get it. <laughs> And but our sticks the landing. Oh, almost dropped it. Or did I? Oh, quiet! I'm concentrating on not falling. That's because you don't have mad skills. <laughs> and neither do I. <laughs> gotcha! Stop squirming! <laughs> wow, this escalated really quickly. Help! Oh no! Crunch and squirt! Ah! And a terrified little girl! Or maybe it's butt squat, who can tell? Uh. Ah. Yay! <laughs> 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 Looks like the old McGee luck is back! <laughs> ow! Oh! Ow! Oh! Ow! Oh. Ow! Come on! Hold on, little piggies! Hold on! That's it? The worst has to happen! With my bad luck, time to get into a sticky situation on purpose! Why doesn't this fill me with confidence? Woohoo! <laughs> oh, sweet. Friends stick together. Yeah, but with my luck, this rope will. <laughs> Good going, McGorge! Now we're worse off than before! Exactly! But at least a bear Vereen isn't trying to eat us! <laughs> I got this, guys! Uh, hey, Baxter! You want some sweet eats? <laughs> the monster is still standing! I don't got the duck, but I still got the luck! Later, bottom biters! Ow! Ow! Oh, oh come on! Good to have you back, McGee. Hey, do you want to go get your lucky duck back? Nah, I think I'll make my own luck from now on. <laughs> on second thought, a lucky duck wouldn't hurt!
squirt. Let's shout it from the mountains, shout it from the peaks. When it comes to the scent of friendship, young squirt reeks. Awesome, Armand. Squirt Fest is going to be the most squirt-terrific day of Squirt's life. Uh, shouldn't be too hard. He's entertained by giving himself wet willies. Easy there, Mr. Technician. You'll blow the generator. That's too much power. Yeah, that's like saying there's too much weird in Lake Bottom. There's no such thing. <gasps> Squirt alert! Battle stations, everyone! Pinata locked and loaded. Squatch in a box. Oh, I hope my surprise is another surprise. <laughs> got burnt. I know, I know, I'm on it. Squirt! 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 Hill boy! Sheesh. Wish I had a leash for that kid. I'll scratch that. This is all my fault. I wish I never existed. Chill out, Protosaurus Rex. Your fairy goblin Torrance is in the house to make your wish the truth. Wish? What wish? The one where you wished you'd never laid peepers on this place, dog. Keep it unreal. Brodini. That was weird. Whoa, sun's up already? Then that means breakfast! Squirt! Don't eat all the trash browns without me! Squirt! Whoa! Looks like Sunny Smiles puked on our camp. <laughs> hey, Armand. What's going on here? This place has had a nasty makeover. I, I have no idea what you're talking about, stranger. And this salon is for VIP butts only. <laughs> Salon's that way, buddy. Shoot, get out of here. You know it's not safe. Whoa, Gretch, who was that? And what's going on? What are you doing here? Oh, you didn't see a thing. Except our happy camp where everyone is happy, happy, and nothing bad ever happens. Ever. Gretch, I know you're bad, but I'm here to apologize. And I did No one's mad. Everyone's happy. Happy, happy, happy. Happy, 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 happy. I'd be happy to see myself out. Later. Ah! Ah! Oh, hi, Rosebud. Oh, you're mashing all the fruit. Sorry, didn't mean to mash your... Wait, you're using actual edible fruit? Why, of course. How else to make happy frou-frou smoothies? Rosebud, shouldn't you be making slug slushies or burpy boulash instead? <gasps> no talk of such delicacies. They might hear you. <laughs> now out before they see you. Out. Okay, okay. Oh. What is with everybody? It's like they're possessed. Yeah, bro, Latin. This is your lake bottom crib if you never existed. Just like your wish, yo. What? Okay, then I've learned my lesson. Consider me schooled. Now I wish to change it all back. Thank you. Hey, I ain't a genie, homie. Uno wishes how I roll. Anything else would be unprofessional. Peace. What's your step, bosses? Oh, ignore that. It's just my spine. Welcome back to Camp Sunny Bottom. Your Excellency. My wig needs a new do. I have a new one ready, Your Eminence. I can't but leave what I'm seeing. Ah, I made your favorite happy, happy frou-frou smoothies. <laughs> A quarter degree too warm. You know what that means. I do, I do! Punishment time! No, 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 please, I beg you, please, not the... Shani, smile! <laughs> Bud Brain! Buds? Well, not with us. He's new and has clearly lost his mind. Your graciousness. I don't know who you think you are. Susie, it's me, your brother. <laughs> I'm an only child poser, as in one and only. New guy can learn Camp Sunny Bottom from the bottom up by cleaning my throne. Know what I mean? <laughs> you to exterminate the vermin. You know what happens when you don't obey orders. Happy! <laughs>
Big Daddy! <laughs> <laughs> he's not vermin. He's just squirt. Whoa, it is squirt! <laughs> you need to brush up on your manners, butt breath. Ew, throne cooties! Come on, buddy, we're out of here. What are you waiting for? Get up! They're all mine. Hear you. I need you to keep Squirt safe. Yeah, well, I always do. Thanks. Oh no! They have escaped. You okay, buddy? <laughs> I don't get it. How could this be Camp Sunny Bottom? Your bro cyclopedia. <laughs> Remember all the times you blocked Butt Squirt from straight up stealing Lake Bottom? <laughs> oh, good times. Well, no one else does because they never happened. I'm Howdy. <laughs> Torrance, wait! I can't stay here! True, because you're coming with us. Oh, who's laughing now, brush boy? Oh, I guess I am. <laughs> okay, claw cleared. It's about time, newbie. I'll see you back here in 20. <laughs> Don't fall in. Only a total loser would... Ah, seat grease! Coming, your awfulness. Oh, <coughs> oh, smiles through the pain, Armand. Now that makes me happy, happy, happy. And that's why you're coming with me. Who are you? Why have you come? You're messing things up around here. You keep acting up, we're all in big trouble. Boom! Ah! Squirt! Our old lake bottom gear. Remember this, Gretch? Oh, my shirt! Oh, I miss those camp days. Squirt miss too. Now, what do you say we get it all back? Light bottom style! <laughs> Good old Bushy. Hot diggity! Ah! I forgot how much kick this has. My craft caddy! Suddenly I feel the urge to create! Oh. Oh. Rosebud, how about some musha blooms to give that souffle some kick? <gasps> M -m musha blooms? <laughs> oh, yeah. Go, oh, what the heck? Give them to me. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Now we are cooking, huh? Okay, when the souffle blows, stick to the plan. <laughs> One of you chuckleheads sabotaged our souffle. <laughs> <laughs> Ew! What? You're a real laugh riot, new guy. <laughs> uh, I turned your collar off, Sir Laughs a lot. What's so funny? Mostly your face. Also, that. Boy, like butter! <laughs> Chance. Work together to free yourselves for Lake Bottom! <laughs> Not so bad! <laughs> Susie here! Oh. Way to save your friends, new guy. Too bad they can't save you. <gasps> Yeah, newbie, it's time for you to bust a gut. Literally. <laughs> we have to get new servants now. Do you know how annoying that is? And it's all your fault. <laughs> it is my fault. <laughs> You're not supposed to agree. You're supposed to beg for mercy. <laughs> oh, you got no more power, butt squeak. <laughs> you too? What's your name? I have maximum power. Squat, you'll overload the collar. You say that like it's a bad thing. <laughs> Squirt, get last laugh. <laughs> as long as I exist, Lake Bottom's always gonna be free. <laughs> uh, I, oh, I never want to laugh again. Uh, whoa, I'm home. I'm home. Yep, after all the cleanup's done. Squirtfest is back on. Worm dog, 
It wouldn't be the same without you, buddy. <laughs> Thanks, pal. <sighs> Squirkfest is everything I could wish for. Let's get this hockey started. <laughs> Way to go, Brosif. My work here is done. Nothing's as relaxing as watching deadly explosions of fire. Ah. Oh, 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 this is it. Here comes the boom boom. Hold on to all your butts. Already on it. Yeah. Let's get this party erupted. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. Oh, man. I sort of love a letdown. Never underestimate Mount Fit to Boom. Intense? Huh? Wow! The Gretcherson! You had me at binoculars. Oh, that, that line! I, I know that line! Yes! I mean, it's just our favorite movie of all time! <laughs> when when crime, crime is too far away to see, it's, it's time, time to, to get, get some binoculars! binoculars. Uh, Will you look at that, sweetheart? It seems as if we've got some fans. Only your biggest fans? You're our favorite action movie star couple! Huh. I'm the Gritchison's biggest fan. I even have a tattoo. It's on my body. Stay out of their sight, Armand. We don't want to scare the humans. Oh, please. What's so frightening about us? Right. Not that we're complaining, but why are you guys visiting Camp Lake Bottom anyway? To see our precious daughter, of course, Gretchy Kim. Gretchy Kim? <laughs> uh, yeah. Hi, Mom. Hi, Dad. And then there's this. I sleep there. Those are Squirt McGee's bunks. That's a shrunken head. Spider eggs, the usual. Interesting. It smells like the set of Invasion of the Mold Men from Mars. What? Welcome to Lake Bottom Macaroni Lays, our tradition. Yeah? Since when? Well, let's see. Since super awesome movie stars started coming to our camp, so today? Oh. Mickey, could you give it a rest? Oh, don't worry. We're used to it, dear. Make sure you get my good side. Where is that music coming from? We had sound systems added to our formal way. It just made sense. Okay, Gretch, what is the deal here? You are embarrassing us in front of your parents. Oh, and speaking of that, why didn't you tell us? Oh, come on, Gretch. Me and Squirt live for your parents' movies. Like Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 4? Or Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5, the re-sharkening? Come on. Both classics in the giant shark versus human genre. Sorry, personally, I can't stand all that Hollywood nonsense. Whoa, nonsense? What are you saying? <laughs> and that's what you get for invading the White House. Ah, oh, now that brings back memories. Did you know that shark had a black belt and Taekwondo dorsal fin? Dad, Double Black Belt Shark Tap Out 5 was just a movie. Can't we all talk about real people stuff? For once. Real people stuff? Gretch, we talked about this. Stop giving your father frown lines. If I didn't know you better, I think you didn't want a visit from your action stars. Uh, you mean parents? No, that's exactly what I said. Oh, happens every time. Yeah. <sighs> Did someone call for parent participation? Stand up straight, dear. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Out pageanted by my own folks. Aw, oh, there, there, Gretch. I'm here for you. <laughs> <laughs> wow! That was just like spin kick and spin kick party six, Mrs. G. My turn! 
Inflicted internal rupture. Ever. That's it. I am so out of here. <gasps> oh, what's with Gretchenkins now? <coughs> hey, this is just like the set of Killer Cough Cloud Five. Gretchy, <coughs> <coughs> Wetchy, is that you? <coughs> Wait. Can I get an autograph? A lock of hair, an extra kidney, perhaps anything. I'm your biggest fan! Ah! Okay, this is gonna be just like the final scene in Spin Kick Party 6. And oh, and don't be afraid to go for the Gritcherson eyeball crush. You got it! And watch out for the Gritcherson larynx twist, too! Oh! Ah! Ah! Have you seen Armand? You know how fan-crazy Armand is. I hope he isn't chasing after the Gritcher's pants. Oh, don't worry. The Gritchersons can totally handle one crazy fanboy. <laughs> <laughs> Gretchen's folks are running scared. Straight for Mount Fit to Blow. And it's Fit to Blow. Oh, now I get it. Oh, the Gritchersons? Scared? That's impossible! Did they played every kind of hero that's ever existed! That's it! Squirt! They must be researching roles for a movie! Come on, remember how scared they pretended to be in Giant Gator 7? <laughs> You've been accessorized! <laughs> Come on, Squirt! Those two acting geniuses are gritchersoning into the hilt, and we're missing it! Mom? Dad? Here we go again. Huh? Oh, see? I told you the Gritchersons could handle fanboy Armand. Uh-huh. Looks like a textbook Gritcherson larynx twist to me. Actually, I slipped in a puddle of the Gritchersons' fear snot as they were desperately running away. <gasps> and all I wanted was a few pics of them for my celebrity scrapbook. According to Gritcherpedia, the Gritchersons practice kung fu yoga, don't eat pineapple, and poop 400 times a year. But it never said anything about running from fans! That's because it's acting, Squirt. If we split up, I bet we can find them before they wrap. <laughs> That's Hollywood talk. Come on! <laughs> We outran whatever that was. Time for a peace spot check. All clear. You too. Oh, nice work, dear. There you are. It's dinner time. Well, don't you want any of my famous stone soup? I loved you guys in Screaming Zombie Stompers 3D. Oh, how ironic. Get it off me! Get it off me! Ah! <laughs> Look, it's Gretchikins! Gretchikins! Gretchikins has come to save us! Gretchikins! <sighs> Please, get us out of here. So, it's true? You weren't just acting scared, but... But you wrestled sharks! You you fought mutant gators! You crashed a jet to get here! Ah, <sighs> guess it's up to old Gretchikins to set the story straight again. Oh, I don't do slimy. Stop double! <laughs> you knew this whole time? Sure. You send stunt doubles to all my birthday parties because you didn't trust the candles. <laughs> <laughs> Easy, guys. None of this would have happened if you acted like normal parents, even if you are the world's biggest cowards. You're so right, dear. Oh, Squirt, look at me. We can still love their movies, right? Even if the Christiansons are the world's biggest coward. <laughs> no, we can't. Ah, uh, yeah. Can't. Now, let's go before Mount Fit to Blow explodes. You can act not scared better than anybody! Oh, 
Okay, I can do that. And action! Thanks for saving us. Oh, and by the way, I did notice you borrowed the rescue scene from Lava Luau the Third. Ah-ha! I knew it! So you have seen your parents' movies, Gretch? Oh, only like a trillion times. See, I told you, you could act not scared better than any... Ah! Oh. <sighs> oh, this is so going in the scrapbook! Crazy strong. <laughs> Whoa, you are kidding! <sighs> the Sasquatch's armpit musk is his pride and joy. Only the squatchiest Sasquatch can make a rabid skunk weep in agony at 20 paces. I can't take it! I can't take it! Namaste! Oh, no, don't go, Armand! You gotta show us more amazed tastic Sasquatch stuff! Oh, rip my arm off! It's okay, I have another one! Some feats of Sasquatchness have to remain secret, campers. If you knew how much human skull crushing power we Sasquatches had, you'd be in big trouble. Well, namaste! <laughs> Uh, pretend you didn't see that. So, here's the plan. We portal to a Sasquatch dimension to meet cool Sasquatches who aren't afraid to show off real skull-crushing power. Okay, we're about to enter the portal. Please keep arms and legs out of the interdimensional aisle. Portal bar. Oh, just get on with it already. Right! Everyone think, Sasquatch. <laughs> Less crushed skulls than I thought. Hey, are you guys sure you all thought Sasquatch? Uh, McGee, is it too late to think nice Sasquatch? <laughs> I. Ow! Easy with the giant toothpicks. Ugh. Humans. I thought we got rid of all those. <gasps> Sunny smiles? No! Oh, you dirty Sasquatches! You blew it up before I could? Mm. Ow! Silence! The king approaches. Uh... Yes, it's me, your beloved King Armand. Hey, Armand! Ow! Ow! Would you stop that? We know him! You look like my old campers. Sometimes I wish I never ate them. That McGee stew gave me terrible gas pain. <laughs> I forgot how hilariously terrified you humans could be. In memory of my long digested campers, I, King Armand, hereby decree that these human lookalikes be spared. <laughs> Not eat humans? The king's getting soft. Gods, take my new human slaves to my throne room. Ooh, throne room. Sounds classy. Lonely Mermaid, Lake Bottom Dimension. Here comes our... No, no, no. See, oh. I don't want to scrub out Sasquatch litter boxes forever. <gasps> Was that McGee? What's he doing in the pot? Sasquatch litter boxes? You know, as fabulous as that sounds, something isn't right here. <laughs> My 
stars. <laughs> Pardon me, I... Oh, please forgive me, King Armand. Ooh, and you brought chocolates. You know, those weren't exactly for you. I... All hail King Armand. Hey! King Armand. But now this sounds like an interesting dimension. And then the Sasquatch says, Hey, that's not a Sasquatch. That's my wife. Oh, come on. Ooh, uh, tough crowd. Oh, uh, don't complain. I'm on Squatch for detangling duty next. Guys, it... It's not that bad. Finally, a place where my foot rubbing skills are appreciated. <laughs> Careful, I tickle easily. What happened to you, Kingy? The Armand I know is a fun loving, happy go lucky. I too remember how I acted before defeating you humans. <laughs> what a ninny. I was. <laughs> <laughs> what does a king have to do for more peeled figs? <laughs> oh, now I get the whole King Armand thing. Hmm, interdimensional portal travel is so confusing. Armand, you came to save us! All right, Armand! <laughs> Ouch! I knew I forgot something. The kids are coming with me! <laughs> you think you... Uh, me can waltz in from another dimension and start giving orders. Although I love what you've done with your fur. Oh, you. I mean, me. <laughs> gotcha. Now, I'll let you go if you let us go back to Lake Bottom. What kind of pathetic Sasquatch is a servant to humans? I'm more Sasquatch than you could ever Sasquatch. Then prove it! If I win, I take the campus home. You, when I win, the humans will remain slaves forever, and you will be ritualistically shame shaved. <gasps> Challenge accepted. To determine who is top squatch, we will begin. The Sasquatch skills of Yay, King Armand! I am a kingly squatch, oh so very manly squatch. No other squatch compares. Look at my lovely hair. La 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 I rule this land. Yay, King Armand! A lovely squatch. My fur is grand and my feet are large. Me, 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 me. I, me, me, me. Everyone must adore me. Yeah! <laughs> I have no idea. Our mom can sing so beautifully. <laughs> oh. Hands off the fine art. Whoa, such realism. Daring, provocative, messy, bravo! And that's halftime! We Sasquatches love our halftime shows, so this had better be good. <clears throat> uh, glad to be here! <laughs> Can anybody tell me, uh, what is the deal with Yetis, huh? I mean, Yetis eat humans like this. <laughs> but Sasquatches eat humans like this. <laughs> Could you please pass the Dijon? <laughs> <laughs> it's funny, because it's true. <laughs> Still more Sasquatch than you. Ditto! But reversed. A squirt. You sure this will work? Trust me. If there's one thing I know, it's foot rubbing. Here are the standings of the Royal Sasquatch Skill Zone. King Armand! One! Inferior Armand. One. And now, for our final winner-take-all event, the Moonwalk Race.
Come on, foot rubs. Do your stuff. <laughs> Been out squatched. Other dimension Armand and his pet humans may leave this dimension in safe. Ow, ow. <laughs> Thank you, King Armand. You're a Sasquatch among Sasquatches. Come on, campers. Let's go home. Here you go. I also do weddings and squatch mitzvahs. All right, call me, text, whatever. Sasquatch take backsies! Get them! Get them all! <laughs> Deal. Armand was the squatchiest squatch, fair and square. That's it? The squatchiest Armand? Show these clowns what true squatchiness really smells like. <laughs> no fair. I smell too. Come on, smell me. I've never smelled such pungent musk before. You are truly the Sasquatch King. All hail Armand! I'll pass, guys. I'm no king. I'm just a Sasquatch who hasn't developed a taste for humans. <laughs> Yet. <laughs> Kidding! <laughs> now we can go. Me just a hint of hot, spicy spice. And a dash of burnt nose hair. Now to make this a taste test. Oh, Nana's golden ladle. <laughs> Still as shiny as it was in the olden days. Awesome! Hot sauce, water balloon! Oh, Butt Squad will never see it coming. Itchy. So very itchy. <sighs> Thanks, Rosebud. I think I'll hold on to these for a while and see how they do in the death bottle area. Are those my stick choppers? Uh, you could use these as chopsticks, but you'd have to eat around the squished fly goo. Good talk! On guard! Villain, or thou shalt feel it, the sting of Excalibrum. Ha! That maketh me pierce my pants not. Behold, Expatulabur. Oh. 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 Hey! Hands off my stuff! Ah. Oh. <laughs> Forsooth, yawn fun, be over it. Hmm. Everyone with the stuff borrowing. Next, they'll want to borrow Nana's lucky golden ladle. <gasps> no! Nana's ladle! Where is it? Now, you stealers, make this a coughing up of all my stuff! <laughs> oh, yes, uh, that's mine. Uh -huh. yeah. oh, <laughs> I should put that on ice. Oh, don't need that! <laughs> Huh? I uh, need those back to cover my uh, bottle area. Wait, Nana's ladle! It's not here. I want Nana's ladle. Give it back, or else I make this a lockdown. Ooh, lockdown! That sounds pretty cool. So that's what lockdown means. Uh. Uh huh? We're missing all the fun. Being in lockdown is the worst. And done. Check it out. A unicorn. Uh, I don't know. I, I wanted something more dangerous. Uh, 
I love it. Locked down for a ladle-based crime I didn't commit. Worse, I really need to go number one. Where Rosebud put the John in this joint? Uh, you're not gonna like this. Huh. Oh, man. <laughs> How am I supposed to hold this in for my entire sentence? Mm, you should probably skip lunch, too. Did someone say lunch? Lockdown lunch call. <laughs> Extra greasy. See how nice I treat you, even after you steal Nana's ladle? So, if you don't like the lockdown, all you have to do is return Nana's ladle and the fence will go kaput. Hmm. Okay, then. No freedom for you. Sawyer! No one knows the camp like you! You gotta know a way out! Come on! I can't hold it much longer! Sorry, McGee. Too busy. Ever since Rosebud activated the Lake Bottom Insta-Prison Ultra Security feature, my chore list has gone through the prison fence roof. Pardon me, Sawyer, if you don't mind my asking. Why does Lake Bottom even have an Insta-Prison Ultra Security feature in the first place? Oh, now that's a long, drawn-out, mildly interesting backstory. I'm glad you asked. It all started when... No time! We gotta break out of here and find that ladle! So I can finally whiz! <laughs> Fun preventing fence, meat, hardest object on Earth. Rosebud's meatloaf. Sayonara, fencerita! Oh, <sighs> smells good. <laughs> That's it. Just a little more. Yes! We have squirt left off. Gotta get Gretchen's uniform washed before the gruel sets in. Hey, can we all try to keep this place tidy? Oh, not again! Sorry, Gretchen, but everyone knows electric eels work best on deep set gruel stage. <laughs> I've seen enough movies to know I can dig under the fence with just a toothpick. Uh, well, the movies were never clear about how big the toothpick had to be. Yeah. Ah! Should have used less toothpicks. <laughs> Rosebud, we don't have your ladle. You can't deprive us of precious toilets. Or keep us stuck under the hot sun for the rest of our lives. Hmm. Yeah. Good point. <laughs> Thanks for the tip. <laughs> in my stomach. Quiet in there! We don't have a place to poop, remember? Lights out! <sighs> Prison yard fresh. Sawyer, we've tried everything. We need to get out of here now! And you gotta help us, please! But, McGee, I can't possibly think about prison breaks until that filthy sink is taken care of. Today was Shoulders Day. Sink taken care of. Come on, campers, let's blow this joint. Uh, quick question. Won't Rosebud totally notice that we're gone? Don't worry about it. I got a guy working on the inside. Oh, good night, McGee. Good night, Gretch. Oh, you're my best pal, Squirt. Oh, yes, and I like you too, McGee. Sounds believable. Uh, I'm too bulked up to fit. Bad eagles, bad! Oh, I hear 
recognize this? When I had the Insta Prison installed, it came with a jailbreak preventing monster. <gasps> Sawyer, why would you do that? That's another long drawn out monster. Still no time. We gotta get out of here. Hey, the coast looks clear. No monsters this way. Pointy, moist. Oh, you Vila? stuff would save the day and... Dear Rosebud's diary, you'll never believe what I saw today. Oh, look! The moon! Follow me to freedom! Freedom! Yeah, that's some terrible smelling freedom you found here, Gretch. <laughs> Find that ladle. Any ideas? Uh uh. Nada. Nope. Yeah. Ah! Maybe I tickle you till you tell me where it is. Rosebud, it was just a ladle! Just a ladle? There's nothing like its beauty. Its golden glow. Its frizzy hair holding up powers. My Nana can't get herself. <clears throat> oh, yeah! Now I remember. I stuck it up there after someone took my hair defrizzing stick choppers. <laughs> I'm sorry for accusing you all. I'm such a silly villain. Huh? <laughs> well, at least no harm done. Huh? McGee, Noah, I'm Gretch, Noah, I'm everyone. <laughs>